But Alex was young. He had a crush on Carter, his cousin. How old was I though? How old was I? He was like five. Stop the cap. <laughs> Sickness and in health. And sickness and health. To give you understanding and comfort. To give you understanding and comfort. And whatever the future may bring. Whatever the future may bring. Every day of my life. Every day of my life. <laughs> What's up, Leroy? He's so freaking cute. I think he likes you, yeah. I've never understood like how how horses like this guy is muscular and all they eat is grass and bro got built off of grass. Like I'm supposed to start eating grass. I'm waiting for us to go inside so we can eat some food, but they got married. I haven't been out here for five years. But my whole my whole dad's side of the family is like southern. They all got like deep ass country accents. So But Alex was young. He had a crush on Carter, his cousin. <laughs> how old was I though? Let's clarify. How old was I real quick? How old was I? He was like five. Stop the cap. <laughs> that don't sound wrong if you don't there. clarify the age, but I love um, Carter. Oh, I love Carter. How could you not love me though? We got a sign tables. We gotta go inside. Apparently. All right, we finally got inside. It's my cousin. It's my cousin Tina. I haven't been down here in five years, so seeing everybody is a little odd because I feel like I'm like the one uh, suburbanized guy out of the family. So I like stick out like a sore thumb. But it's cool though seeing everybody. How are you doing? Chilling like a villain. You got turned last night drinking whiskey, which I didn't partake in those activities. I had to go on a roller coaster for the first time in five years and I'm freaking out. All right, so we just did the Dominator. It's my first roller coaster since I was probably like 15 years old. And I thought I was gonna pass out multiple times. I thought I was gonna throw up actually at first. I'm sweating like crazy right now. It was fun though. All right, so I'm vlogging on my phone. Went to King's the Meeting after my cousin's wedding. It's my first time being in an amusement park in a super long time. Just went on the first, well, we went on the Dominator and it scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna, I thought I was gonna pass out like twice on it. Like the G-forces, like I'd never felt that in so long. And I, I took Pepto because I thought I was gonna throw up. So flight of fear. So let's go zero to sixty in four seconds. That's pretty slow, but I feel like because it's a roller coaster, it's gonna scare me. I'm used to going fast in cars, but this is probably gonna be different. Right, so that's probably the worst one I've ever done in my life, purely because I thought it was just gonna be like a straight line acceleration type like ride, and it took off, and I was like, nah, this is slight. And then it started going upside down, side to side, fast as shit. I thought I was gonna throw up. I had to like clench my teeth so that I wouldn't throw up the whole time. So we finished up the main park thing. Now it's like the Halloween stuff's opening up. They're gonna start scaring us here soon that'll be fun we just did this freaking race one i literally passed out this is the first time i ever passed out on a roller coaster the first turn everything went black and like my vision went out from like the g-forces and then it came back like three or four seconds later on a different turn i'd say my favorite one we've done three so far would be the uh honestly this one this is the only one i didn't feel like i was gonna throw up on then the one i hate the most was the one where it goes zero to 60 that one was ass i almost threw up Good guys, back from the um, amusement park, so it's called. Back from Kings Dominion. It was cool. I had a fun little trip. Um, I've realized that I am now susceptible to getting motion sickness. I don't know where I gained motion sickness from, but like, I remember too. I was thinking, I wonder if this has to do with it. Like when I used to go on trampolines when I was younger, I was always like racked at doing like flips. I used to do even on the ground. I would do front flips, side flips, back flips. I was addicted to free running, and my head would feel fine and the trampolines and everything. And then now, if I go on a trampoline or even doing like that jump rope in the boxing video, it feels like my head is like getting disconnected from like something and it's like bobbling around it gives me a freaking headache so i want to know like is that like vertigo do i have like an imbalance and what is it your ears that trigger that or what because i never got motion sickness before i used to love roller coasters and now it's like super hard for me it's like it sucks like that was terrible but anyways new pair out of the month we're working out in the, the dungeon my old home gym this is my dad's house i just got back today it was a long day bro i had like fourteen thousand steps i did at that park got my cardio in for sure but i'm gonna have some pump this is the mummy gummy it's the white gummy bear this is a limited flavor if you like any of the gummy bear flavors like the lion's blood or the hulk juice i highly recommend this one it's coming in the form of the stimulant free version which is what i'm taking it taking right now because it's later at night which means no caffeine if you want the caffeine version to get a lot more energy from it uh the extreme which is the high stimulant version is going to also be dropping with this so whenever that drops use code alex show some love 15 percent off yeah so i guess getting to this the video i'm not a little bit of clickbait right i'm not done lifting weights or lifting but i feel like again i've been i feel like i've touched on the subject a little bit like a few times like humans we're addicted to progress right now progress in a way is what kind of gives us purpose and what fuels a lot of our ambitions and now although when you aren't seeing progress it's still good to have discipline to stay in that because eventually you'll see progress but for something to be fun 
and for you to enjoy doing it, when you see progress, it becomes like more addicting, right? Like when you first start going to the gym and start training, like you start seeing your gains in the gym or a new band appear or like your abs start to show or whatever, it gets addicting because you see the progress happening, happening right before your eyes versus now I've been training naturally now for about seven years. And now that I'm bulking too, like my physique doesn't look as good, but it's like, it's hard to have fun in the gym like I used to. I mean, I struggle with this a little bit ever since I started doing fitness as like a life career for me. Like when I go to the gym now, it's more focused around, depending on the day, usually it's focused more around content rather than like me just like lifting hard weight um which just switched up a little bit better i've been able to have more better workouts recently i've noticed that like it's just like i don't see unless i'm like getting shredded i feel like when i'm bulking i don't really see my physique getting better yeah i'm getting stronger like we just said 315 on bench and whatnot which is cool and all and that's like a little bit of progress i can see the pr stuff doesn't really like give me anything so i've been thinking lately about getting back into calisthenics now what does that mean that doesn't mean i'm gonna stop i'll still be lifting weights but i want to prioritize calisthenics a little bit and that could be eventually like weighted calisthenics so i can still build muscle on that now it might not be as optimal as training with weights but i started lifting people don't know I, my first year year and a half of lifting was primarily like calisthenics based it was bro i would be in this gym right here doing for my chest calisthenics days 500 push-ups plus in a workout it's really high volume low rest times honestly it's a really good way to get like lean in a way because that's why it's probably not the best for bulking but it's something that i really want to progress in because i remember how much fun it was for me when i like was progressing in calisthenics when i went from only being able to do a few pull ups to being able to do clean muscle ups to being able to do a front lever to, from regular push ups to dips to me doing handstand push ups on parallel bars. Like, I don't know if you guys used to watch me on Snapchat about a year or two ago. I used to do handstand push ups all the time. Um, and that stuff was fun. Mastering your body weight is something that like all people can do. And it's just really fun. You see a lot of these guys that kind of are into calisthenics, like heavy. A lot of them are usually overseas because a lot of them can't afford gyms and they end up using these bar parks outside. The two guys that got me into calisthenics, the Bar Brothers, um, specifically Lazar, I think it's Novovic or something like that. I actually follow him. Before each other now which is which is sick but i bought a program from them a while back which i am making my own calisthenics program right now for you guys to kind of follow along and progress if you want i'll make it sure obviously affordable and whatnot i'm not gonna it's gonna be on the only leasing site i'm writing one for myself so i figured out you know put it this is my job so whatever um, or in the app i actually have an app that's gonna be done soon i might just put it in the app yeah i'm still recovering from the shoulder injury so i've been noticing when i do pull-ups that's still kind of hurting that a little bit but we're still gonna try our best today i'm gonna try and get a rough baseline of where i'm at so i'm gonna do a baseline of push-ups to failure pull-ups to failure and dips to failure. Now, I recommend spreading the dips and the push-ups kind of far apart because if you do one before the other, it'll affect the other one a lot. Just to get a baseline and then to see where I'm at in a few months from now or whatnot. But I plan on doing this a lot more often. I already know how to train calisthenics. I know what I have to do to progress to the hierarchy of movements. Of, so like if you like ever see some guy do a front lever like that, the way you progress that, that's a lot of lat and a little bit of core strength. That's gonna be done through explosive pull-ups, muscle-ups, stuff like that. It's gonna really help train for that. Doing a handstand or a handstand push-up, doing pike push-ups, doing elevated push-ups stuff like that as you get more and more weight on your hands and stuff like that it's going to help towards that wall stands shoulder like i brought i freaking all i did for the longest time was calisthenics my dad didn't let me touch a weight till i was 16 bro when i was in like middle school bro i used to just do hella calisthenics so um, it gets me excited because I, I like training like that because anybody can do it you literally have no excuse to not train calisthenics so like, you don't have access to a gym or weights or whatnot you have zero excuse not to train with your body weight and i just think it's it's honestly in a way a healthier i i think if i had to pick like calisthenics is honestly healthier than weightlifting because calisthenics is like you're using multiple body body groups it's it's easier on your central nervous system because you're not overloading it you can still progress with weight and calisthenics by doing weighted calisthenics but it's body type movements if a lot of them use multiple muscle groups at the same time and it honestly works as more of like a cardio workout so you will get leaner if you struggle with with or if you're trying to lose weight and just be healthy not everyone is trying to be jacked you know big and brawly like whatever it is calisthenics is good to kind of get lean from as well but bro it's just fun i, I like to see progress in that like i already know if i really dial it dial it in i'll be able to do handstand push-ups like crazy again front levers back levers like you you name it like planches all that so i think it'd be fun to get into so i'm gonna start training for it i'm still gonna be doing my regular weightlifting so don't worry about that that's not going away or anything but i'm gonna like maybe prior prioritize it or, or add it you know maybe go to calisthenics in the morning and then weightlifting later in the day i'll figure out how i'm gonna do it but today we're gonna be hitting back i think for regular weights but i'll get my rough baseline of what i'm doing right now starting off with push-ups i probably should warm up my shoulder a little bit but we're just gonna go full send it bro straight into it keep them as clean as we can I was aiming for that. When I was in middle school, bro, I used to be able to do 75. 
in a row. For having my shoulder recently dislocated pretty bad, I'm happy with that. It kind of hurts a little bit even doing that, but it's whatever. I literally remember that before my like back days for calisthenics, I would literally go and take a dump right before it just so that I could be like a few pounds lighter so that I could do more pull-ups or be more explosive. Like, I don't know why I just like remember that. I'm about to go do the pull-ups, so I just thought of that. For pull-ups, we're just doing like normal grip, nothing crazy. I'm worried about my shoulder though. And this, it's hard for me to bring my head above the top. I'm gonna try my best though. Oh, I don't think I can do it. It hurts really bad. It like, I think I have to get more blood in there. If I did like rotator cuff stuff beforehand, it's like on the eccentric. It feels like it's pulling. I think it's because it's like the ligaments and shit are still like loopy because they're out of the out of where they were supposed to be, but it like hurts on the eccentric. It, like that shit hurt. It like wasn't bad thing, but it definitely hurt. I might be able to do a chin up. I mean, that's better than nothing, right? I might not, I just might not be able to lock out of the bottom yet, but give me a break. I was it, like 14, I didn't even count. Try not to swing either. Hopefully dips don't freaking hurt me, bro. Oh, oh damn. 31. We're at Grind, Baltimore. About to hit a workout. Doing a little bit more calisthenics type vibe stuff. So I feel like shit right now, but we're still gonna get it done regardless. Starting up, warming up with calisthenics. I'm gonna do dips, chin ups, push ups, a little bit of incline shoulder push ups. My shoulder, since I dislocated the labrum, they give me some issues, which sucks, but I'm kind of fighting through the pain, which I don't know. Maybe that's smart, maybe it's not, but I'm gonna warm up like that, a few sets, and then I'm gonna be hitting back today with weights. So we're mixing in the calisthenics with the regular weight training. Bro, I'm, I'm excited. I just wanna be able to do handstand push ups again as soon as possible. And a lot of that revolves around bringing strength and stability back to the shoulder that popped out again. So I didn't record it, but I did some like external, internal rotations in my shoulder. I gotta go to PT this week again. So I'll get exercises from them on that. But like, it's, I can move it. It's just a sore, bro. Especially when doing pressing movements, but we're gonna fight through it. For back today, I feel way better now. I swear, like, times I go to the gym, I feel like dog shit. Like, literally going up the stairs, I feel like almost like I could pass out. And then I just force myself to stay in it and train. And then I start to feel like I can go more and more to failure as I lift. So, we're hitting back today. Again, I'm still bulking and whatnot. But this past week, and I ate like absolute shit. And like, not even like, it was just I didn't eat enough. I didn't eat enough of any, like, no whole foods at all. So, I think that's why I feel so bad. Like, coming back to the gym, I kind of took a few days off from it. I was only doing like calisthenics while I was in Virginia. This is like first day kind of back. I tried to lift last night, literally couldn't like you'll see probably in the video where i maxed out my my push-ups and shit i couldn't even lift i was supposed to lift that night but anyways we're starting off with the hammer strength play loaded isolateral row the tip here which if you guys want i know i might not be the biggest guy but i've been training naturally so it's for you guys who kind of get bigger natty this advice still works whatever some people would be like i'm not gonna listen to him because i weigh more than him whatever i've been training a long time i know what i'm doing but what i'm doing with this is i grab neutral grip which i can only do neutral grip with how my shoulder is right now and i grab it kind of low and for me, I like to lean to the side. You see, you see me dip my shoulder down and lift my elbow up a little bit. And that just allows for me to keep my elbow a lot closer to my body where I get way better of a contraction in my lat. This isn't the best isolateral row. Usually one, it's like you get a better stretch. For me to get a better stretch, I have to push off the pad, which I kind of don't like. So I can all duck that shoulder down so that my elbow is close to my body. I'm leaning against the side. I let it pull my entire lat forward and I'm gonna squeeze, keeping my elbow close to my body the whole way through. I feel the tension in my lap, the whole negative. Tension's in my lap the entire time. Stretch all the way, squeeze. Again, if you could touch my lat, you'd feel how hard it is as I go on the east side. A lot of people, when they do this, I feel like they put the tension in their bicep or in their forearm, and they're, they're having too much of bicep. Again, I'm not like a scientist with this shit, but I know what I'm talking about. If you hold it like this, or you're too close, this, you're having way too much bicep flexion, that's the term for it. But you're getting way more bicep recruitment when you're having kind of like this. So that's why I go lower so that it's more of a lat movement. My elbow is close to my body. It's more of a 90 degree angle. You're gonna focus more on your back. If it's up here too high, again, you're doing too much of your arm, which you don't want. So what can we call these natty tips? 170 pound lifter tips? I don't know. Let me know, like tell me, tell me that that's not like scientifically correct, even though I don't know nothing about the science literature or whatever. I feel like just from lifting for seven years, I know what feels right. So that's what feels right for me. And that's my best way of me explaining it.
I think I'm sick. Um, I woke up and I feel like I got I feel like I got a cold, like a really bad cold, like um, I'm super stuffy and whatnot. Maybe it's allergies, but I don't I don't remember having fall allergies. I'm starting a new morning routine, which is nice. I have like coffee. Sometimes I want hot. Sometimes I want ice. Depends on the morning. I'm gonna read my Bible. I'm gonna pick a random page um, out of the New Testament. <laughs> This morning, and I'll probably just read that, then I'll pray. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of the shadow work journal. I found this on TikTok. I saw a lot of people like having a lot of good stuff to say about this journal. I never journaled before. I feel like it'll be good for my mental headspace and like healing and whatnot. So, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be up to this morning. Also, bro, I've been doing these. I saw a TikTok, bro, of this, of, I think it was, I can't remember if it was Joe Rogan with someone's podcast. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> What I was saying, I saw a TikTok um, on this podcast on these things, and they were talking about how it's called jaws or size. It's like a thing you put in your mouth. I remember I bought these when I was like 18, and but I just never really used them. But I got these two. One's bigger than the other one. I think the greener one's harder to chew on. But all you do is you put it in your mouth like that, and you get good at that. And basically, you can do it like while you're watching a movie, while you're editing. Or like while you're just doing like any sedentary activity and the purpose of it is to like basically build up your jaw muscles and like your face muscles involved with like chewing if you ever see the people who are like pretty lean and they chew gum you can see like how their their uh these muscles right here the jaw muscles are like popping and like that makes your face i think it's called like face sculpting when you have good jaw muscles it makes your facial structure look more attractive and appealing uh, a lot of people when they have like it's like rounder or they're not as lean it doesn't look as like aesthetic but when you have like a sharper cut jaw when your jaw muscles are developed you look pretty sick um and then also i was reading up one it's supposed to help with like lock jaw or like tmj just giving blood flow to the face which is supposed to be good so i'm gonna try it out and do a i think we're gonna do like a 30 day challenge with it maybe like a 30 day before or after see you know how it works yeah i'm actually excited to try it because uh i feel like i used to always have poor facial structure and then as i got older and matured it started to get better but i know for a fact i really want to use this now because whenever i bulk and I get a little bit of face fat, I can see my like facial structure start to kind of like get a little sloppy, if that makes sense. Like it's not as sharp, right? So I'm curious to see if this actually really does build up like my jaw muscles. It makes a noticeable difference. So we're gonna do before and after. So I'm gonna try it. I'll give you guys like updates on that. Um, and if you wanna go check them out yourself, you can. It's called jaws or size. So there's like different levels. There's one that you can like bite into it. There's like a mouth guard, so that's pretty sick. That's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the bell on so you guys are always up to date when I upload. Pull up to the Twitch streams. I just got back from the wedding and stuff. I kinda like, I'm getting back in the swing of things. Um, still healing up the shoulder and all that, all that good stuff. I think that's it. Yeah, just pull up to the streams. See you guys over there. Alpha line has a new pre-workout dropping on the sixth, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna drop on the 10th. Elysium stuff still in stock. All right, love y'all. God bless. Until next time. Peace out.